Hey guys, Grassman here. We're gonna finish up this. And as you can see, America and Canada are in good relations, and the Communist Party of Canada is not. So if you remember last time, these guys, green invaded yellow, took it over, and then red, like a genius, freed yellow and only took part of their stuff, but yellow's taking the rest back, and then they took out the Pope. I'm not the Pope. Putin. Uh, it's two two important guys that start with P. Potent poop, what, what am I supposed to do? So, as before, I will just keep shorter video and I'll just keep updating you with the important parts. Um, I assume these guys are going to fight some, at some point. At some point, I will just have to force them to fight and that's not going to go well. Oh, um, hmm. Waro seems to have joined green. Yeah, so... It's just yellow and red versus green. So green's probably gonna lose. Yeah, red's the strongest. I will force red and green to fight at some... Red and yellow to fight at some point, though, so... We'll see what happens. Oh, dear. Green's invaded this red city. And they destroyed that one. Putin is technically just part of America. Yeah, green... So they destroyed this city and then put up their own, and now green's invaded here. Uh, Yellow's taking over this one, and it's got zero people somehow. Um, green's invading up into that place. Uh, Yellow took over this place, or or this might be a new colony they're setting up. Yeah, this looks like a new colony that they tried to set up. So this is a bit of a... This is a bit of a weird spot to be in. I'd like for this place to be able to go... I'd like for this place to be able to come, go join, join yellow again. There's no way to, like, just edit that, right? If I go... No, I only need a way. Okay, well, this is, um, strange. This is gonna be a weird fight. Green keeps taking over yellow stuff. This was a yellow city. Yellow's in a lot of trouble. They keep just losing things. Um, they, there was a fight going on here. This is just seems to be green people now. Green is stronger than yellow by a fair bit, so... If, if um, red doesn't help yellow somehow here, green could still win, or at least... Green could get rid of yellow, um, red will still probably get rid of green afterwards, afterwards, though. Some big changes happening here. This city's gone. This one, Muiva, has gone completely yellow, with its 60 people. It is now at war with the green, so if they lose this one, this was their second, this was their second, this was their first, um, territory. What is it called? It's, um... Their first smaller place. What was that? I oh, know they're building something up here near red. So this, this was their first, um, whatever it's called, a territory something. Um, and they have just lost it. So, if these guys are completely eliminated, that could be really good for the other ones. Because that would put them down, these guys down only like 200. I think they're already down only like 200, yeah. So Canada, Canada's already caught up to the green... So, yeah, I guess it's just a matter of time. Another one switch sides. It mashes with 55, with like 55 people. Really condensed place. But yeah, these guys are losing. They're down only, only like 140 now. And uh, and there's still like quite a bit at war with Canada. If Canada sent in extra troops, they could possibly like take the other two or something. Oh, there goes another one, yep. Yeah. Canada is now far stronger. Just these three are already stronger than the other one. Uh, not quite, actually. Oh, yeah, they are. So it depends. Canada could get three really good ones here, and then I'll let them I'll let them each build up in strength for a little while, and then I'll send them to war. That's, yeah, that's that. Canada's taking it. 
So now, they, and they're peaceful now. It's just them versus them. There's no one from the, lot, the other one left. So, I'm going to let them build up for a while, and then I'm going to put them to war. Canada's got those three up there, and the four down here. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by red as well. But Canada's are much smaller, so we're going to let them build up for a while, and then I'll set them to war. There's been a revolt. I haven't even turned them against each other, and these guys have revolted. This is what we had. We had like 700 versus like 550. These guys just revolted. I have no idea why. They took Chato with them. This is a huge turn for the world. This is going to very possibly lead Canada winning. Because it was like 7 cities versus 11, versus like 8. Yeah, Canada had 8. America had 11. But now America's lost 2 of theirs. So America's down to 9, plus they're in a civil war. So Chato's fighting Ogawa. Which I believe Chato is more advanced, but Ogawa just has tons... Ogawa somehow has 42 people, but barely any houses. I think America just sent a whole ton of people over here, and had no idea what they were doing. Where's his... Zoom out, it's gonna lag. Chato was actually, like, slowly building up. Azoro was, like, America's first colony. I also have to... I, I put, like, four... I just put four people in Muiva, because they only had one person, and Canada refused to send anyone else there. So the one person, and Canada... So there was one person, and Canada wouldn't send anyone else there, so they weren't reproducing. But it's just such a big place, I just figured I'll put four people there. Oh well. But now they're, re now they're reproducing, now the movie is, movie is back. Um... Yeah, that was really bad. America's down to 74. America was up at, like, 150, the mo most populated place. There were, like, I think there were six cities. There were, like, there were six cities above a 1,000, above a 100. Putin was one. America was another. Kutork, Kutork and Azoro were the four for America. And Good Canada and the Communist Party of Canada were the other ones. Apapau, Apapau, Abapau and Uzo of... Uzovo is also getting are also getting close now, but this is gonna be horrible for America. If we look, Canada's in the lead now. Well, now that Canada's in the lead, I think it's time to set them to war. Spite, spite. Relations, war, war, war. So we're about to see all hell break loose. Canada's good. Canada and have a. Out of power invading Kutwork. Looks like these guys are just sitting here for now. These guys are like a lot down here though. These guys, America still like defeating these guys. This place has already been taken. Hopefully Canada can just take this place back. Because that was originally one of their colonies. Some American colonies could very well, some of the American places could very well flip. Um, Kutwork there is like, was like originally a Canadian colony so it could flip. Um, it's also possible some of the other ones could flip to blue. Because America was in the Civil War, so some of those other ones could flip to blue. Um, oh, there goes a blue one. Okay, I'll uh, inform you when anything big happens. Apud and Leva have both flipped. These two places have both flipped in favor of Canada. So Canada lost one to America. And America destroying itself there was crazy. And there's Katork. So now, and there's uh, that one. These ones have all favored Canada. So that means Canada just, is just going to be able to rebuild in those places. This one also flipped. This one's going to go to war with America, and it's going to be destroyed if Canada doesn't make a move here. But they're... Oh, that one's flipped, and if they take Ogawa here, they might just move in straight to try and take out Putin. They also might go up for the north and try and take back that, that one. So, that it's already... it's. I didn't expect that much flipping. Now it's just unfair. Now it's 600 versus like less than 300. We'll have to see what happens. America could do very well from doing the same thing they did last time, and getting the Communist Party of Canada in the bottom right, bottom left here to revolt. That that's probably their best move. They have lost Ogawa now. There's a lot of just there's a lot of seizing of places. Um, I think that might be because I have the I have democracy off. They can't declare war on treaties. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But yeah, they're just they keep surrendering. No one wants anything to be destroyed in this world. So they all just they maybe maybe um they just have like good leaders or something. That's possible. Who's Canada's leader? If good Canada has a good dem democracy, good, a 78 diplomacy, yeah, that could be it. Their leader has a 78 diplomacy, that, so they could might just be, f like, forcing everyone to turn go with them, but...
Yeah, we'll have to continue to see what happens. We're down to just Putin and America, pretty much. These two places were destroyed. You saw that right. They're, they've taken Muiva. That was a very strong point for Canada. That's the, that's the spot I had put guys back into. Muiva was... Uh, Muiva was quite strong. They haven't actually flipped it to become, become the Communist Party of Canada again. Canada is just invading now. But Muiva was quite strong. It was like the second strongest one in the bottom left here. Or, it, or at least in ter- terms of like... Uh, houses and stuff. They didn't have enough time to really gain many people. But they are down to just Putin and America once the movie is out. And the movie was lost. It wasn't overtaken. So that means Canada's probably going to set up another thing there. They also have to set up something in the bottom left of the top right of the top right one. Of the top left. And that's just America and Putin. Putin is currently the strongest. So, I mean, who knows? Putin having so many more people could also try in civil war against America to join Canada. That, that would probably be a pretty smart thing. Bit of a war here. There was something like right here in the middle, but it's gone now. America's trying to go get Ogawa, and Canada seems to be invading from Usovo, down here at the bottom, into Putin. Putin is getting weakened. I'm not sure if that's because of the top or the bottom fighting here. But it looks like Ogawa will be defeated. Up Hood may also be defeated as America pushes in. The rest of them are too strong that it'll be taken out. Canada doesn't really have anything else weak that's too far back. These ones are all right near good Canada. And these ones are all just strong, so... America doesn't have really much else they can take from Canada. America's trying to reestablish colonies. Um, there's two of them. I do realize it may have been a bit unfair to set Canada against America, like, as America was having their civil war, but, I mean... Oh well. I, I was going to set them to war about at the time they had the civil war anyway. That was just unlucky. Um, Canada's not invaded yet, though, so they might be sparing America temporarily. There was an attempt at, attempt at evasion... Inv- in, there was an in- attempt at an invasion here. Canada destroyed it, and then they took America. Putin is now in charge of what remains of America. I, I don't like this. Canada took America, and the president is now working from Russia. And they took Akaro. This is a bit weird. Canada's invading down here. They took Buhon. Canada now owns the majority of the world. It's still just down to Putin. Um, does look like they are about to invade, but not quite yet. Okay, there's a war. Putin's starting to fight Buho and other Canadian forces moving in. Remember how this started? Good Canada, Communist Party Canada, Putin and America. All just little small things. Putin with some extra stone, Canada with some extra food, America with space, and the Ca- Communist Party Canada with nothing. And the Communist Party had, like, gotten in every- gotten, like, the entire upper part and was gonna invade America and Putin and destroy them. But America, being the genius, freed Canada. And now Canada has just turned it on them. And they've taken America. And they're about to finish off the red group here now, too. And they're, they're, it falls. That's it. Canada took Putin. The four originals are still there, but that's it. I mean, that's it for now until they, like, spread everywhere and then devolve into a civil war. Let's see if that happens next. So I left and came back. This is how expansion's going. I think I'll let it get a little bit more of the mid 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 east side. And then, or the left of the east. The right of the middle. I'll let them get more of the right middle, and then... I mean, I guess I can't, like, force a civil war. I just have to wait for it to happen. It'll happen eventually. Okay, I've gotten bored. So I'm just gonna go... If I give Putin spite, it doesn't do anything, eh? Yeah. And spite them all. Everyone hates everyone. Let's see what happens. Apparently there is some slight cooperation. These guys are friends with these guys. These guys are friends with these guys. Everyone's got a... Other than good Canada, who's a friend enemies with everyone, everyone's got a couple of allies. Hmm, Interesting. These guys might do pretty good. America, Abapal, and those th- those ones. So everyone's pretty much at war. Let's see what happens. This guy's getting destroyed. Some fighting over here. I would have liked to happen, let it happen naturally, but there were like thousands of people. Oh, these guys are really dropping. 87. These guys in the middle of everyone. I don't think these guys had any, had many friends. They had up, up Hod as a friend, and that's it. 
Yeah, these guys are getting destroyed. Good Canada is doing good. Canada is doing surprisingly well. They've lost very little. Um, Leva as well is also doing pretty well. They've got some good friends in this area. But they're actually friends with everyone down here. These guys are all at war. These two are together, so they could destroy the Canada thing. And then Usovo and Sus. And I guess they can't become friends because I have diplomacy off. It's fun though. Um, it's throwing a bit of destruction. Throw fire everywhere. They'll all be too busy. They get bigger. They'll all be too busy to deal with the giant natural wildfires. We like zoom in without crashing. Oh my god, the whole all the wheat, everything is on fire. Oh my god, this is a horrible idea. Everyone's on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all that orange on the map. The last four minutes is this, this is just gonna be unpaused chaos. Can't do acid clouds. Everything is just, it's all just burning up. It's all burning. Good Canada might survive. Putin might survive if they can, like... If they can put out some of the fire. Which they haven't been able to so far. There's just so much of it. The entire, like... The entire map is becoming consumed. It's all either burned or it's getting closed in on. I think it... Is it... Oh, I think it's, like, going... I think it's chugging. Um, Tony's Party of Canada down at 5. The entire world is burnt. Like, no one survived. If we look at relations... And Putin's doing decently. Putin has some nice... Putin has some friends. America has some friends. America could do good. Canada's got no friends. He does a communist party. Um... Oh. Well, they're all gonna die. Um, Putin's doing okay. Did Canada put the fire out? Canada still has... Some green area. If Canada could put the rest of this fire out, they could still grow some crops. Otherwise, they're gonna all starve. They're all gonna, all gonna just starve, like, right away. And what other kind of disasters can we do? Do they want some antimatter bombs? See if anyone survives. Putin survived. Good Canada survived. What do you do this? America survived. America has not survived. Nor has Putin. What do you know? Canada wins once again. There's one guy down here. Oh, that was a lot more. Um, sorry, but I only meant to drop one. Oh, that's a child. Oh no. Um, never, he never existed. Don't worry, guys. He never existed. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I want to watch out for the incoming tsunami. What is this? When did they build this? <laughs> it's like a, a single, like, fountain detached from the village. This somehow survived. Out in the wasteland, it's like the only other remaining thing. There is somehow grass left. Piece of wheat up there. Over here, too, they've actually put out the fire, mostly. Um, is this going to kill him? No, he's fine. Wow, the... Good Canada survived. Impressive. Want some napalm. You no longer have grass. Everything's on fire. Yeah, grass is gone. Wait, they still have grass. No, those are trees. It's the only grass is up here now. Well, that was fun. Um, No one died. I do want to just finish these guys off. Oh, I didn't actually, you know. Is there anyone left? I meant for there to be, like, one survivor or something. No, that just killed everyone. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that in content. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.